one, two, one, two. Max on test one, two. Ch test one, two. Hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Base Materials Project. I hope everyone's keeping well. Uh, I hope everyone's keeping well. Today is uh, 2nd July 2022. So, uh, Today we're going to have a quick discussion about the AMD build. So we've upgraded the chip. It's a Ryzen 5 uh, 4550. Brand new chip, costs you about £110. And we paired it with the AMD 6500 XT. And we've got a FreeSync monitor as well, an AMD FreeSync free monitor in the funky AMD case. Uh, the performance on Call of Duty is absolutely amazing. Miles better than the Intel i5 12th gen. Uh, the motherboard can share the RAM with the graphics uh, and uh, the performance is pretty uh, exceptional. So the price has turned out to be around 750 quid, Great British Pounds, including a Windows operating system. So uh, there you have it, a good bit cheaper. So that's including a, a 1080p gaming monitor as well, that goes at 75 hertz, 8 gigabyte of RAM, humble amount of RAM. Uh, 400 watt power supply. Uh, I can't remember if it was a gold one or a platinum one. But uh, that being said, the power budget less around 400 watts. So the graphics card is only like maybe 65, 75, 85 watts. So basically, uh, as compared to previous gen AMD, it's uh, it's twice as small. Like it weighs half as much and also uses more than more than half of the previous electricity so it's so it's twice as light uh and it's twice as cheap to run or it's half the weight of the previous gen graphics card and also half the electricity as well it performs brilliant on call of duty uh as, as we had a test playing it earlier on and had a really good game uh got themselves like whatever second place or whatever good Good results, like the fellow was very, very happy with it. It was unbelievable, as a matter of fact. And certainly, yeah, it's 1080p, so it's not 4K, but it's certainly comparable. And it's certainly something we're worth looking into. So it's been a scrappy build, and we've uh, bodged it here and there and uh, everywhere. But we finally got uh, got somewhere. We've arrived at a nice, well balanced system that's nice and rounded. Uh, I'll have to double check the frame rate. It's something like uh, 79 frames per second, which obviously isn't super duper or anything like that but it's also fantastic like it's also really really decent and pretty competitive for the price as well so your next you know your next level is up obviously cpu 500 pound cpu so again that's one central processor you could almost build the box only uh at this spec for around 550 quid all in so you can even build an entire entry level 1080p gaming pc or you can buy the latest AMD flagship chip, or the latest uh, i9 flagship chip. So for the price of a microchip, granted it's the best in the range, whether it's Intel or AMD, you can generally speaking build the box at least. So you may have a computer monitor left over, what have you, so there may be some uh, avenues for spares and repairs. The motherboard is not a particularly expensive motherboard. I think that retails in the UK around 50 quid, including delivery. Uh, we've had, uh, had all sorts of issues with this build and we finally uh, upgraded the BIOS on it as well. So we flipped through a few BIOS versions and they're pretty decent, really. It actually plays Call of Duty better than the i5 12th generation, so with the same graphics card. So we swapped the graphics cards between the units and uh, the AMD one is flying. Like it's, it's really compatible and there's a lot of balance, really harmonious. It doesn't go too hot or too loud what have you, and it's okay because the monitor is an AMD FreeSync monitor. Granted, it's only a 75 hertz monitor, but overall, the experience is really, really good, really, really fluid, uh, fantastic, really. Uh, I'm well surprised, uh, actually, at the end result, that, yeah, you, it is a lot cheaper, and uh, obviously the i5, the 12th gen i5, we use for 4K, so that's pulled into a 4K monitor. Uh, so... And we swapped out an old 4K graphics card for the 6500 XT. A lot of people were complaining, like the chipset and combo. However, for the value for money, I don't really have too much to compare it to. But certainly for the price, it's pretty decent. 
So that's it for today's news. Uh, getting cracking on. We're in uh, yeah, we're in July. Uh, so I no doubt there was something coming up. But yeah, the AMD celebrated AMD build with AMD case. All AMD parts. Uh, it works brilliant. Miles better than the Intel 12th gen. For miles cheaper. Uh, all in a good 350 quid cheaper. So. Make it out uh, what you will. Obviously, uh, we haven't tested it with Adobe products and stuff like that, so we're separating out the units and just getting back to it. All right, so, yeah, once again, uh, uh, like and subscribe. Please visit the website, www.thebasementsealersproject.com for more info. Uh, all right, thank you very much. See you next time.